August the 12th, 2016. This is my MyGrav power generation off-grid set. And uh, as you can see my wire coming from my capacitor here of this refrigerator. Leads into the load of the capacitors that go through the MyGrav and come back out into uh, the strip here. And, uh, the ground ties from the strip. Ground ties right there and goes over here to an earth ground right there. Now then the uh, turn the other compressor on. Now we've created a loop. And uh, we can uh, see by my voltage indicator there we got 121.5 if you've noticed i've had to put a pair of ice grips on here because this little surge protector is nowhere near capable of the amount of watts that we're going to pull through it this has a startup capacity of uh um seven to eight hundred watts and a continuous run capacitance of uh 85 watts uh, this is a panini sandwich grilled cheese maker lights on and it's a 800 watts this as you can see is a 1500 watt fan for cedar and we're gonna turn it on all the way up to 1500 and you can see she's blowing and it's hot this is a 45 watt uh, hair straightener and i ran another load over to here so I could turn on a 1500 watt hair dryer uh, might want to push that reset but maybe there we go that's the low setting that's the high so we got 1500 watts I'm gonna set it on the ground there I don't want it sitting on my refrigerator and of course the refrigerator is a key part of this so so you can see that it's working in there ice in the fridge Okay, so everything is on and operational. I just stepped on the ground there. And you uh, can go ahead and turn on these fluorescents too. Forgot about those. And uh, we'll get some uh, thermal readings here for you. Show you that everything's working. Looks like about... Uh, 345 degrees on that one. Now let's see what the heater is putting out. We got to clear it, and then we'll go back to this over here. 241, and of course uh, the Magrav coils. The bottom coil is, oh, sorry about that. The bottom coil, if I can keep it on there. 116, 111. The middle coil, 96, 95. Oh. And of course the top coil. Looks like bouncing back and forth. We're going to save 115. Uh, <coughs> we got a right here 87 degrees in that. Right there. And we got 8891 degrees. The hair dryer is still running. The heater's still putting out plenty of heat. We'll come over here. See what the hair dryer is putting out. Hot enough for me. 171 degrees there. So uh, everything seems to be fully functional and operation. Like I said, you use the capacitor start up run cap and it starts the system and this one makes an infinity loop 
uh, plugged into the system that creates the voltage and uh, if we add up the wattage here we got 15 and 15 is 3,000 3, so that's 3 kilowatts uh, 8, 3,800 uh, 54 to 3854 and and let's just call it even 100 on the two refrigerators so uh, 3954 uh, and 50 on that so uh, 40 uh, 4, 4k right now it looks like what we're pulling off this particular unit uh, it, it, uh, you can see I had a, a piece of matter copper there it got hot uh, none of this did though. Look at that, huh? 116 degrees, on, 104, sorry. And we'll get over here on this now that it's nano, look, 200 degrees. But you go right here and you see it starts dropping down. And that's a little bitty uh, 20 gauge stranded wire. But it cools down as it goes through the magrav. You can see it's dropped down to 94 degrees. And uh, now that this is nano coated, uh, the next time I fire it up, it'll uh, uh, it, it will be uh, at a lower temperature. It won't get that high. Like the rest of these, you know, they don't uh, they don't get high. Uh, 88 degrees. They've already been nano coated. Uh, once the nano coating process takes over. Then uh, uh, it's all up. Uh, it does its own thing from there. Well, anyway, that's uh, more than four minutes to show arming, and I'm, uh, I'm hot enough out here, and I've got heaters blowing, and uh, hair dryers are going, and uh, uh, everything. Uh, we'll uh, leave the lights running and get the Let's see, uh, the, you know, the two uh, compressors are what runs everything. Uh, everything can be taken off of here. You, you don't have to, as you can see, I've got an earth ground. You, you don't have to have an electrical source. There's, there's no wires attached anywhere around here at all. You know, see anybody can see, it comes off the compressor right there. There's no wires, except for what's on the ground. That goes to the hair dryer, back down to the strip. Like I said, if it wasn't for those vice grips, we would have never been able to do that because it, uh, that little surge protector uh, will only allow so many watts to go through it. And uh, we just pulled uh, 4,000 watts through it. So uh, they're not rated at that. A 14 gauge wire is rated at 1440. Uh, and as you can see, uh, this wire is not even hot, and it's a 18 gauge stranded wire. And look at this little bitty wire here. It's a 20 gauge stranded wire, and it didn't melt at all. You know, uh, piece of matter copper got there, got hot there, but that was something I threw on at the end because I burned a cap earlier. But uh, even with three caps, we still managed to pull four Ks. So, uh, and uh, we showed the thermal indication that all the units were working. And as you can see again out here, there's there's no wires, just an earth ground. I do require a ground. The appliances have their own ground, but they're not earth grounded unless you're hooked into the uh, grid. If you're hooked into the grid, then you've got a, a, a ground for your appliances through your uh, neutral. But when you're off grid, you don't have that uh, uh, ground for your appliances. And in order to make these uh, appliances with the start run capacitors to operate properly, you need a ground. Uh, so this is the earth ground, and uh, you know I chose to use a uh, number eight solid gauge, uh, solid copper wire. So. Uh, so this is, uh, I hope, uh, will uh, satisfy everyone's curiosity and, and, and show that uh, uh, the marvelous feat that this uh, unit is available to do. You know, it, it will perform a specific function, several actually. Uh, but one of the main functions is uh, uh, not only the power generation ability, but the ability to carry a, a massive amounts of current and wattage uh, through... Uh, 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 nano coated wires and and through the nano coating process allows this to become a superconductor 
which allows the electricity to travel through here uh, at a, a, a higher rate of speed, frequency if you will, so uh, you know less resistance. If there's no resistance, there's no heat. You know, this is a new piece of wire right here, you know, and uh, uh, it's warm to the touch, but it's not hot anymore. But that's the reason uh, it, you know, uh, became hot, because it was a brand new piece of wire. It hasn't been nano-coated yet. Uh, so uh, this was, you know, put in here on purpose to show you. You see that none of the rest of that left a mark there, you know, just the, just the one spot right there. I had my knee on that ground and... Uh, like I said, the two systems are making electricity right now, so it will give you a little bit of a shock there if you uh, touch the ground on one side. <laughs> but anyway, I hope this uh, satisfies everybody's curiosity and uh, peace and blessings to all, and thank you for this wonderful opportunity.